Hi, today we will talk about a historical topic, the abscess, the topic that no one single day passes without seeing it in our veterinary clinics. How it forms, what are its symptoms, what are its types, how to diagnose, and how to treat it. The abscess is a pocket of pus, and the animal can get an abscess almost anywhere in his body. When an area of the animal's body becomes infected, his body's immune system tries to fight the infection. This battle between immune system and bacteria ends by death of both of them in addition to some tissue cells. This localized death process of bacteria, immune cells, and tissues will release the intracellular enzymes to the surrounding tissues. Later on, these enzymes will initiate a cascade of lysis of more cells with formation of liquefied tissue at the center of the abscess, called the pus. At the same time, a fibrous tissue capsule is formed around the pus. It is called the pyogenic membrane. Its formation aims at prevention of dissemination of bacteria to the surrounding healthy tissue. At the ends, the pus will find its way out by pointing of the abscess and resolving the problem will penetrate deeper into a near organ or body cavity, or the wall of the abscess will acquire more fibrosis and form the chronic abscess. Our case today is a parapenile chronic abscess in a cattle calf. The calf brought to the clinic for presence of a hard and durated parapenile swelling. By clinical examination, no signs of acute inflammation at the swelling could be detected, and there is no history of trauma. The swelling is irreducible, but this couldn't exclude the potentiality of strangulated hernia. Sonographic examination revealed a thick hyperechoic wall of about two centimeters thickness, surrounding a hypoechoic center of about two centimeters diameter. Accordingly, the preliminary diagnosis here is a chronic abscess. confirmation of diagnosis by exploratory puncturing under a septic condition is required and like you see it conformed the preliminary diagnosis and think offensive pus came out of the sterile needle the animal is sedated and the skin over the abscess is aseptically prepared for incision to evacuate the abscess. Local analgesia is applied to the incision line. 